So when the canal boat approached the lock, you need to let the lock tender know by sounding the conch. And then enter the canal, lock. The mules are on the towpath. And once it's in, this drop gate would be lifted into position and the valve on the miter gate would be opened. And the canal boat would drop about 10 feet to the level of the next section of canal. And once it got to that level, the miter gates could be opened and the canal boat could continue on its journey to Phillipsburg. The boats coming the other direction would reverse the process, entering the canal lock, entering bread lock, called bread lock because the canal tender's wife sold potato bread from a little shack at the end of the canal. And the valve would be opened at the head of the lock. The boat would come up about 10 feet. Canal boats, of course, didn't have refrigeration, so the boatmen would buy their food on a daily basis at stores along the canal, like Bread Lock. And once it reached the level of the next section, the boat would continue on its way, in this case, towards Newark and Jersey City. And that concludes our fascinating presentation.